recording, anytime you record piano solos, it's so vulnerable. You have to play it specific. And if you don't get the right notes or you mess up, you have to do it all over again. When I got ready to record this album, I had been working with Michael Bishop, who's a phenomenal professional engineer. He's got 10 Grammys. This setup is very specific to Paul's music and in this instance for this program. Michael is a genius because what he has done for this recording is for the first time in my career, I've had fantastic engineers, but for the first time in my career, he has miked the Steinway accordingly to my music, to my style like a photographer who has to zoom in to get the best shot. He knows how to zoom in the microphones and all the technology so that he captures me at my finest. We are here in this amazing room with uh, two incredible recording people in the industry. Uh, John Jennings, who is vice president of Royer Labs. I heard Paul's playing and just heard one of the most beautiful right hands I, I had ever heard. It was just, it's such a, an exceptional tonality. And I thought, man, these two need to get together. I mean, with your sensitivity so to an instrument and your knowledge of mic technique and, and recording technique and then Paul's touch, it's like, man, this is really gonna be special. So it's been fantastic to uh, listen to what's going down here. And that right hand I've heard standing in a room with Paul is coming through on the recordings. When that comes through the monitors in the control room, that's, that's a really special thing. And I think you're capturing the feel, the real instrument, like the intention of the instrument in the room. Basically, what I'm, the way I'm using the microphones and the recording setup is to get out of the way of that and let what Paul is doing come through. That's, the, that's really the secret to it, is to get out of the way or at least give the impression that there is yeah. nothing between the listener and the artist. Paul's music and his approach with the piano is very reverent, he leaves a lot of space, very relaxed, very introspective, and he just pulls the listener right into his space very nicely. All the projects I've done have a purpose. I don't just, I don't just make music to make music. It has to be connected with something that makes things better. <laughs> 